In this video, we'll talk about three different LOS that is 16 B, D, and E of economics. So, all these LOS are related to the monopolistic competition. So, in LOS 16B, we will understand the relationship between price, marginal revenue, marginal cost, economic profit, and elasticity of demand for monopolistic competition structure. Then, in 16D, we will understand how to determine the profit maximizing price and output for monopolistic competition and in 16e we will understand the effects of demand changes then entry and exit of firms and finally we will understand if there are some other factors which will affect in the long run equilibrium okay so all the discussion would be related to the monopolistic competition first of all understand the characteristics of monopolistic competition in monopolistic competition there are large number of independent sellers and buyers and as each firm is relatively small and hence each firm has smaller market share which results into the no significant power over the price and hence firms focuses on average market price and not on individual competitors second most important characteristics of monopolistic competition is product differentiation as products are close substitutes of each other so this differentiation will give some benefit to the seller and as we can say in case of monopolistic competition firms compete based on marketing quality and price and as marketing is a must which will result into the better positioning of firms product and as there is a close substitution the demand curves are highly elastic in nature okay in case of monopolistic competition there is low ba entry barrier then firms in this competition face downward sloping demand curves but this downward sloping demand curve is more elastic that means bit horizontal and as we have discussed firms compete based on price quality and marketing and it is being observed that in case of monopolistic competition there is a strong correlation between the quality and the price that firms can charge example of monopolistic competition is market for hair oil and soaps actually the hair oil all the hair oils have similar characteristics but there is a differentiation based on the quality and advertising so which would result into the taste preferences and these taste preferences would lead to the better sale of good okay now understand the short run output and long run output for monopolistic competition as we know the firms maximize economic profits at quantity Q where MR is equals to MC that means marginal revenue is equals to marginal cost now see this graph between price and quantity downward sloping demand curve which is bit elastic okay suppose this is inelastic this is relatively inelastic and this curve is relatively elastic so this demand curve for monopolistic competition is relatively elastic and this is marginal cost curve marginal revenue curve is lower than the demand curve because for every additional unit sale the seller has to reduce the price and that's the reason demand this uh, marginal revenue curve is less than the demand curve now understand in short run if the price is p star and quantity sold is q so this is the point at this point the average total cost is less than the price so this is average total cost and as price is greater than the average total cost that means firms are getting economic profit and as firms are getting economic profits there would be more competitors which would be interested to enter the market and as new firms 
enters the market that will result into the demand curve towards downward side till the time price equals to average total cost and when price is equals to average total cost economic profit will be zero which indicates that there is no incentive for new firms to enter the market in long run equilibrium so in short we can say in case of short run monopolistic competition firms may earn some economic profit so economic profit may be positive but in long run economic profit becomes zero okay now we'll compare the firms output under monopolistic competition and perfect competition this is a firms output under monopolistic competition and this is firms output under perfect competition as we know for perfect competition demand curve is horizontal that means perfectly elastic and at this particular point price is equals to marginal revenue which is equals to average revenue which is equals to marginal cost and this average total cost curve touches at the lowest point to the demand curve however if we see the monopolistic competition graph at mr is equals to mc profit will be maximum so quantity will be q and price will be p so at this price level the average total cost curve is not at the minimum point minimum point is somewhere here but as price is higher and this average total cost curve is touching to the demand curve not at the lowest point so in short we can say price is minimum in case of perfect competition and in case of monopolistic competition price is bit higher than the perfect competition then the average total cost curve is not intersecting at the lowest point with the demand curve so atc is not minimum in case of monopolistic competition but in case of perfect competition atc is minimum however now if we see the monopolistic competition graph where marginal revenue is equals to marginal cost profit is max maximum and at this level whatever price is there on demand curve if we see price is p here p is greater than marginal cost so whatever difference between price and marginal cost that is called as markup so markup is present in case of monopolistic competition however there is no markup markup is not present because marginal revenue marginal cost and price are at same point now let's understand the efficiency product innovation and advertising in case of monopolistic competition let's talk about efficiency efficiency of monopolistic competition is unclear because consumers benefit from advertising which results into the better purchasing decisions by them but it is very subjective whether it is, is it worth to spend that additional cost for advertising okay now discuss we will discuss about the product innovation product innovation is necessary because the firms which brings new and innovative products they face less elastic demand curves which enables them to increase the price and earn economic profits at least in short run in the long run all these economic profits will disappear because of the close substitutes and imitations and third thing is advertising expense advertising expenses for monopolistic competition are very high and these advertisers would help to create or increase the perception perception of differences of of a firm's product with respect to other firm's product generally it has observed that at relatively fixed cost variable cost will increase because of the advertising expenses which will result into the increase in average total cost as we know average total cost is equals to average fixed cost plus average variable cost so if fixed cost is relatively fixed in that case 
with increase in advertising expenses average variable cost will increase and his average total cost will increase but in some cases advertising may reduce the average total cost now we'll understand what are those cases when advertising causes the substantial increase in output where economies of scale will bring down the overall average total cost which will result into the more elastic demand curve and in turn it reduces the price then quantity will increase and markup will reduce now with this background knowledge about monopolistic competition now we will solve some questions this is question number one in case of monopolistic competition firms compete on price quality then price quality and marketing as we know in case of monopolistic competition there are many sellers and products are differentiated based on the quality and whatever advertising they do so in case of monopolistic competition firms compete based on the marketing that is and advertising whatever they do then quality which will make them differentiated from some other firms and price so option c is right option because in case of monopolistic competition firms compete based on price quality and marketing now let's discuss question number 2 which of the following is least likely related to the monopolistic competition in short run so here we have to find out which of the option is not related to the monopolistic competition to solve this question let's discuss these graphs and conclusions which we made price in case of monopolistic competition is higher than price in case of perfect competition then average total cost is not at minimum point it is at bit higher than the minimum point but in case of perfect competition average total cost is at minimum point because this is a point where price is equals to average total cost and as there is a difference between price and marginal cost the markup is present in case of monopolistic competition but there is no markup in case of perfect competition because marginal cost is equals to price which is equals to marginal revenue at the equilibrium point now with that background now we'll try to answer this question so option b says price is slightly lower than under perfect competition this is false one because in case of perfect competition price is lower than the monopolistic competition and hence this is a wrong option option a says atc that is average total cost is not at a minimum for the quantity produced yes because at the quantity produced for a monopolistic competition average total cost is at bit higher point than the minimum so this is true markup is available under monopolistic competition yes because markup is equals to price minus marginal cost so in case of monopolistic competition price is higher than marginal cost which results into the markup so this is also right so only option which is not related to the monopolistic competition is option b okay that's the end of los 16 b d and e related to the monopolistic